My name is Sarah and I come from Stockholm, Sweden and from a company called Goo Technologies. So I'm going to present to you today um, what we think is the future of gaming. So for us, uh, the web has opened up a lot of opportunities, a lot of possibilities for developers of every kind, especially web developers and game developers. We are currently you know, allowing creative people to focus on their passion, which is the game development, without the, the constraints of the, the technology that currently exists. And you know, game development is about reaching out to people, it's about touching emotion, relatedness, um, making an impact. And we have the same views on technology as well. So we wanted to create something that goes along with how game developers think. So for us, it's about uh, making a difference and creating magic. Um, there's a lot of things changing right now. And we sort of want to keep going with that change. We get really excited about the shifts in the markets and new technology and how the web is now more just a portal into everything. So people are connected across the oceans and they're playing with each other. And um, we believe that type of communication is amazing and we wanna be part of that with our games. So we think that technology is what enables us to change everything and enable us to have this communication between people and be able to express our creativity on the web. And this is partly due to um, HTML5. So I don't know, how many HTML5 developers do we have in here? Just raise a hand. All right, there's a few of you, cool. Um, we wanted to take it one step further and play around with WebGL because WebGL is also what enables us to create the same beautiful and immersive graphics on, in games, but on the web that you can do with native platforms. So web, WebGL, uh, in our opinion, is currently the biggest leap in the history of the browser because WebGL, it renders 3D graphics as it would on a native platform, but it also runs you know, really smooth 2D graphics. Um, and since it's in HTML5, then it, it works cross-platform, which enables you to create games that may be a little bit different than you have created before. So while some people are questioning us and asking why, why would I go cross-platform over native, it's all about, well, perhaps your games now should be more innovative than they have been before. Don't do the same games over and over again, but maybe think differently in order to keep up with the shift in the market that's currently taking place. So, so far, we've done some, some experiments using our engine. Um, so the engine is called Goo Engine. It's based on HTML5 and WebGL, and it's a cloud-based engine, so it's for creating pretty much anything using uh, the 3D graphics renderer WebGL for the web, so web-based games or applications that are interactive. And so far we have created um, one of the first, or we have created the world's first 3D e-commerce app uh, called Taylor Cut. And we're also, um, we're also bringing like the, the same 3D that you have on native onto mobile. So we also created uh, one of the first mobile apps that run on the mobile as it would on a native client, like as, a, as on a PC, but in 3D. It's really smooth. And even um, if you guys were checking out ARM's booth, they were showing it on the Chromebook. It's called the Pro Boy. And you would never guess that it's running in real time on the web. And recently, we also just created uh, the world's first live iGaming experience, uh, which is the casino floor. So it's an immersive casino floor in 3D where uh, users go in and it hooks up to the different slot machines so you can keep playing. And we're taking all of these years of technology evolution 
um, that we have created and put into our engine, and we wanted to make it easier to use for everyone. So not just programmers, but even designers and artists, or anyone who just wants to create magic on the web. So we created Google Glass ES 3D. Um, not really, but this is more to give an idea of what we were trying to achieve, but with the current technology available and no 3D glasses. So we created Goo Create, which we are releasing next week. And it's cloud-based. It's a web editor uh, running directly on Goo Engine. Um, it will put these groundbreaking web graphics uh, in anyone's hands. So all you need is your creativity. And the web editor is, it's going to be simple to use. It's a uh, point and click, it's visual programming, and it's a layer on top of our, our engine. So it's directly powered by the Goo engine. So that was a little launch video that we have made for the Goo Create. And as you can see, the beta is out on November 1st. Um, and the, what you do, it's a platform for creating games for, you know, cross device. So it works, it works on mobile, it works on PC, Mac. Um, yeah, pretty much all devices. And even in the near future, it's going to work on console and TV as the manufacturers are currently looking into investing into this technology and making it available for everyone through all devices. But um, so, so what does this really mean for you as developers and for this industry? Because there's currently this, this war uh, between, you know, choosing between native apps or web apps. Why? which one should you choose, and we don't really believe that they should cancel each other out. Um, I mean, for example, for, for native apps, you, ha you have your issues, you have your problems, but you also have your benefits. The same way it goes with web apps. So we just want to bring another alternative for all the developers. So this is a quote um, that we use to just you know, have us a motto for people. And a good hockey player plays where the puck is, but a great hockey player plays where the puck is going to be. And we would like to be that great hockey player that's going to be, you know, where th that, that knows where the next puck's going to be. So we always want to be one step ahead and just grow together with the shifts in the market. And, and web is, it's viral, it's social, it's real time. And this is also what the future is and what the future holds. And when it comes to uh, Goo Create and our technology, then it's, it's all about, you know, it's games, you can do digital ads, e-commerce or product visuals. It's about these uh, powerful web experiences, powerful graphics, like directly on your web. And just quickly, some statistics. The, the number of iOS developers currently are about 100,000 around the world. 
and Android developers are a little bit more, but around 350,000. If we look at web developers, you have about 8 million right now in the world. So we are allowing web developers to sort of cross the gap and get into game development as well as use uh, the technology that you know, gaming engines have to offer. And now with Good Create, we're bringing in artists and designers. And in, in the big picture, we want everyone that looks at our product to think, oh, this is something for people like me. Whether I'm a programmer, whether I'm a designer, whether I'm an artist, I can use this to create um, my, my visions, my ideas, and actually get them out there for people to see and use. So for example, Fred, who is an artist, loves games and web, um, and is currently working in Flash, he w would use our product. But you know, Flash is sort of going out the door right now, so people are moving over to either Unity or Adobe Air, but we wanted to offer him an alternative. So Goo Engine, I mean WebGL and HTML5 require no plugins for the end users. There's no extensions to the browser, so you, you play it instantly. You use the apps created in our engine instantly. And that's one of the barriers that we wanted to cut for people. And we believe that HTML5 will help Fred, our, our friend here. Um, and you know, even though there has been a great buzz about HTML5, the initial, the initial uh, introduction of HTML5 was people were really happy and they're like, oh yay, this is gonna be groundbreaking. And then that sort of buzz just tipped off and now we're slowly moving upwards again and people are starting to believe in HTML5 again. And that's because more and more games out there are, are, are proven to be just as great as you know, native games. And for Fred, he's not a developer and he doesn't have many options. So the current HTML5 options doesn't make sense for him because he still wants to do these amazing, these amazing games that he would uh, for, for native platforms. And we want to change it all for Fred and for everyone. So, Goo Engine. It's cloud-based. It's drag and drop together with the Goo Create, which is the web editor. It's stunning graphics. It's powered by, by the 3D engine and the technology we have currently underneath it. And we're also launching an asset market for you know, you, an, animations, models, textures, for anyone to import into the editor. It's real time, it's social. And we're also working on how will people monetize on their games created in Goo Engine and the distribution part. So we want to combine the coder dynamic with the artist's freedom. And this is what it's going to look like. Uh, you have the graphics pipeline, the drag and drop models, uh, you have Unity support, and everything is powered by WebGL. You have a scene editor. You also have animation support directly in the editor. And the visual programming. This is what, for me at least, is one of the strengths of this tool that's coming out. And of course, real-time publishing. And everything runs in the browser. So you can run it on your mobile, your tablet, your PC, or Mac. And it is all powered by Goo Engine. <laughs>
yeah, the Goo engine it will always be free. Um, for the Goo Create, it's going to cost $49 a month for private repositories or private projects. Uh, no restrictions, and it's the same, everything is the same. But right now, um, it's free during beta. And on November 1st, sign up, and you can start using what I just showed you. So, oh uh, yeah, just one last thing, the iOS app. Question we get a lot, because WebGL is not currently supported um, on native Safari on the iOS, but we are using a Lude wrapper to get around that. So it will also work on iOS, no worries. Thank you. That's great, thank you. Uh, I've always personally had uh, this sort of level of skepticism. Great to hear that end, end comment that you're looking to do, use a wrapper. Yeah. Does that mean the applications will go through the app store as normal? No. Oh, okay. So um. how do you get past the Apple, uh, and not just Apple, but Google and, and various other app stores are trying to control that marketplace? Oh. How do you deal with that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so that what will happen, yeah, if you use the Lude wrapper, it will, it will become an app. You won't be able to run it like in the browser, so it will have to go through the app store. Um, yeah, sorry, I misinterpreted no, no, the question. And yeah. it, is a, it is the fundamental question, I think, about HTML5 in general, yeah. which is, you know, uh, you know, at what, what point does HTML5, particularly WebGL supported, become so prolific that the app stores can't hold back any longer? I mean, or, or do you think that there's too much vested interest? I mean, the, the fear, I think, is that the vested interest will stop that happening for a very long time. Am I overly fearful, or do you see that breaking through and WebGL being supported more naturally, more natively elsewhere? Um, I think that c c Apple does have their quality requirements for letting games through. Um, there's a reason for that, and I, th I think it's a good reason, but they are being a little overprotective right now, I believe. But I think when people are showing, I mean, people are showing us their games now created in the engine, and they actually tweak it so that it's very optimized for mobile, for iPhone, I think that they will get their eyes up as soon as they see people using something out there that um, could they could monetize on. That's when they will sort of make the switch. Yeah, and I, so I suppose that's it. I mean, it's also obviously interesting, and I'm not going to ask Nick to answer this because it wouldn't be fair, but when Facebook moved away from doing HTML5, you know, there was this kind of question about what the viability would be. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think, though, it's an ongoing feast. Uh, does anyone else have any questions? Uh, I, I tend to talk too much, so there's a question over here. Hello, Hi. I'm Ivan from Nordis, and I have a question about, is there any way of uh, porting existing games to Goo, or we will have to develop it from the beginning? And also, uh, will there be some kind of uh, demo, some, some heavier, more resource-consuming game that we can try, or we will have to wait to, for better. Um, for the first question, what, where do you want to import it, or like from where? Where do you want to export it to? We have existing application, for example, written in some technology Unity, Flash, anything. Yeah, we have uh, Unity support, so you can you can export your whole game from Unity into Goo. Um, we are talking about how to export the from Flash into Goo as well, um, but Unity support we do have right now. Great, thanks. Um, and then when it comes to uh, the demos, I can always show you on my computer. Otherwise, just come talk to me, and I'll let you into the alpha developer. Then you can start trying on your mobile or on your computer as well. Because I mean, that is one of the things that's quite nice about Unity is that you can you know, get that o open project at the beginning and it gives you a good sense of what the tools can do. But if you can import things, that's fantastic. I imagine also the open, you know, the, the fact that you've got this open license yeah. will also mean that the community will create their own. Is that fair? It is. I mean, that's what we're doing right now. We are working together with the community to sort of get the direction of where should we be going, what, what do they feel is important, what's missing, and what should we focus on. That's why we really... Um, want like alpha developers in our program. Right now we've only been speaking to programmers, but you know, when we, le when we release Goo Create and go into open beta, we want to bring in the artists and the designers as well, because new perspectives always helps us build greater technology. 
and I've seen some great um, you know, WebGL based content in Chrome browsers on PCs, but at the moment, uh, the, the content I've seen, I think it's only really the Firefox browser that really supports WebGL in a, com in a performant way. Is that, is that a fair judgment, or are there other browsers that people can see now? Oh, um, yeah, when it comes to browser support, all major browsers do support WebGL. Uh, even like Internet Explorer 11 will support WebGL. So, and they're always trying to get into the program as well because they, they believe in WebGL too. So, but then it really just depends on the game that you create. Um, and most work the best in Chrome. So, yeah. So, uh, on that note, I'm going to thank Sarah very much for speaking. Uh, it's a great topic, and 